Hey, hey, everybody, Z Garcia here. Today I'm going to be unboxing Run, Fight, or Die Reloaded, the uh, second edition of the original Run, Fight, or Die, with a whole new look and I think some new mechanisms as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at this game, and we're going to get some info first. 30 to 45 minutes, ages 14 and up, as you can see there, and one through four players. So there is a solitaire mode, and up to four players. It's a game in which you are trying to, of course, take out the zombies before they take you out. So here we've got the rule book showing you all the contents of the game. The goal, setting up. It's going to show you uh, all your zombie setup and your dice chucking bits here. Illustrations about your companions, your followers. There we go, taking wounds, end game, scoring, and then a solo campaign over here. There's actually quite a bit dedicated to that solo campaign. This is all for the solitaire mode. Yeah, okay, wow, that's like almost half the rule book, if, if not half the rule book. Actually, the middle of the rule book is right here, so it's actually more than half of this rule book is dedicated to the solo campaign. You going through uh, different, uh, you know, scenarios. So that's quite a thing. All right, and here we've got some tokens. As you can see, wounds and uh, zombie tokens, I'm guessing. Cardboard here is pretty good. Not the best I've ever seen, but pretty good. Uh, nice and thick. So yeah, that, that works. Got those. We've got, uh, put that aside for now, we've got down here some zombies in two very bright colors. These, again, are not the best minis I've ever seen, but they are cartoony. They, they pop on the, on the table. You'll be putting those in front of you like that, and they'll be advancing towards you on your board. There's a whole pile of them. Pretty nice. We've got here the boards. Uh, I was advancing those backwards, I realized. They should be going that way. Alright, we got the boards here for the different players. With the three zones in front of you. A guide to some of the dice over here. And some cool artwork. They are double-sided, but it looks to be the same on both. So we got those. Uh, we've got down here the player boards. And these are... The different characters you're playing, some dice combinations that are unique powers to you, I guess. And then health down there, a little backstory on the backs of these. There we go, the coach. And we've got the uh, the businessman there. Oh, the ex-cop right there. We've got the prom queen. And we started with the army vet. Alright, so there we go. Let's take a look at the dice, shall we? They have a gray color, which is kind of a weird color. Uh, it makes every other color that's been uh, inked on the dice a little more muted than it probably could be. But everything does, does pop. It looks fine. As you roll it, I mean, the colors are very distinct, so it shouldn't be an issue if I'm going for, let's say, guns. I'm gonna roll that, I don't have any. I got two bats there and a map. Backpack, guy running, there's the gun. So yeah, it looks all right. I don't know if I like the gray color is all. Still well made. They are in, uh, engraved, so they're not just printed on there. That's important. We've got some more cardboard bits down here. And then decks of cards. With uh, quite a few decks of cards here. All right, let's take a look at that. We've got some action cards there, which are going to show us uh, actions to be taken, I guess. Let's take a look at some of these. Yeah, they tell you a little story, an action, an effect, and then if it's unresolved, what's going to happen. There we go. Trauma cards, uh, which tell you, you know, some sort of denial effect that you're going to have to deal with. So, pretty good. Then over here we've got the followers that are going to be, uh, you know, chasing you around and giving you bonuses or penalties. They have a number of victory points. 
If it works at all, like in the original, anyway. Number of victory points, number of health uh, points. And then, if they're really worth a lot of points, they'll give you some sort of negative effect. If they're a weakling, as in they're not good for endgame scoring, they will help you out during the game. So, for example, this obnoxious councilman is probably going to be very annoying, but it looks like he's worth four victory points. Execute the bad effect on location cards, regardless of the number of map results rolled. Yep, that's not good. But he is worth four victory points. Whereas this skilled sharpshooter over here is worth a single victory point, but it says once per turn, set a non-zombie die to a gun result. There we go. So, that's pretty neat. I like these. I like the artwork on this. I like the uh, layout, the graphic design on them. That's good stuff. Here we've got missions for the solitaire mode, some locations, and uh, player aids down here, some upgrade cards, probably for the solitaire mode also, and then the different locations there, which I guess you have to roll a number of maps to either travel there or, you know, avoid some sort of bad penalty. Again, I like the layout on these. It's a good way to do it. It's, it's graphically clean, and I enjoy that. And then two decks of cards over here. Mutant deck and a loot deck. And these are going to, of course, give you some stuff, like a Molotov cocktail or an axe, uh, shotgun, things like that. A chainsaw, the classic chainsaw. And then over here, I don't know what these mutation cards do but I assume just mess with the way the uh, horde is behaving while advancing towards you. Yep. That's the idea. So, you know, like this one says, Summon Horde, add one zombie to your zone 2, and two zombies to your zone, zone 3. So, not good things. Cool. And that's pretty much it. This looks like a real nice re-implementation of the original game. I liked the original game. But it definitely needed some graphical overhauls and maybe some uh, just some sprucing up. And this seems like what you know exactly like what the doctor ordered here. So excited to check out this reloaded edition of Run Fight or Die. Stay tuned for more coverage from us on this one and many more games. I'm Z Garcia. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Tune in every day for the Dice Tower's daily game unboxing.